Hello students, welcome back to my video. In today's video, we'd like to discuss a new topic. So, if you go around your city, you will see a lot of places around you. And if you think, uh, there are probably some places that you would like to visit. Yeah, usually or you often visit. Okay, so today we are going to talk about some play some public places that we often see yeah the public places around us oh so you look at the picture here you may like to visit places like train station and then post office uh, and these are one of the fine places that kids usually like to go amusement park and an airport gym skating rink playground and bus stop anyway uh today we'll be talking about uh where we were yeah in the past yeah our location in the past yeah, where were you yesterday so this question talks about someone's location in the past all right uh, okay so first of all as usual we're going to listen to the vocabulary of yeah, these words yeah, about public places and then later on we are going to try to complete every lyric based on the audio I will try this one yeah, and this exercise and then we'll go to lesson 3 and 4 Okay, let's begin with this one Listen carefully, repeat every word that you hear Bus stop Say Bus stop Playground Say Playground Skating rink Say Skating rink Gym Hey Gym Airport Hey Airport Amusement Park Hey Amusement Park Post Office Hey Post Office Train Station Hey Train Station Okay, done. Now, uh, please close your book. Uh, let's try to guess the word. Okay, what is that? Bus stop. Bus stop. What is it? Playground. Playground. Skating rink. Skating rink. Gym. Gym. What is that? Airport. Airport. Amusement park. Amusement park. We can also we can also call it a theme park, yeah. Post office. Post office. Train station. Right. Train station. That's all. All right, let's move to this one. Where were you? So there are, yeah, four kids, kids here. Yeah, so these kids, they are wearing casual outfits. So it seems that they like to play, yeah, like this boy. He likes to play skateboard and yeah, this boy, this boy also likes to play with his. How do you call that? Let me check first. In Indonesian, we call it sepatu roda. Sepatu roda. So in, in, in English, we call it roller skates. Oh, yeah. So this boy likes to play roller skates. Sepatu roda. Okay, let's take a look at that one. Yep, you have to complete uh, each lyric with, with the correct word based on the audio. 
Yeah, so here you gotta write the location. Where were you yesterday? Were you at the park? I was I was not walking and I wasn't at the park. I was at the blank. Okay, now let's listen carefully. Unit 7. Lessons 1 and 2. Where were you? Done. Did you catch the words that you just heard? Good job. Okay, so once again, I have told you, yeah. Um, where were you yesterday? So this question talks about uh, someone's location in the past. Yeah, where were you yesterday? Were you at the park? I was not walking, and I wasn't at the park. I was at the gym. Yeah. So the person at the gym. Yeah. And it happened in the past. Number two. Where were you yesterday? Were you at home? I wasn't with my friends and I wasn't at home. I was at the good skating rain. Number three. Where were they yesterday? Were they at school? They weren't taking classes and they weren't at school. They were at the playground. Good job. Okay, uh, wait. Number two is wrong. Oh yeah, skating ring. Oh yeah, with K, not with G. And this word. This uh, this is where and not where. Where and where, uh, both have different. Both are both are different words. Finish that. Right, so let's move to lesson two. So this is the grammar class. Where were you or the yesterday? Yeah, the question is about uh, the location of someone in the past. I was at the gym. Yeah, I was at the gym. This is the positive sentence. I wasn't at the airport. This is the negative sentence. Is positive? Sorry. <laughs> Bad drawing. This is a negative sentence. Uh, it is shown by the word was. They were at the playground. Were they at home? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. So, this question is. Uh, yes or no questions. You can answer it with yes or no, but you have to um, include the word were. Yeah. So we still need to use were. Yeah. 
Yes, they were. Or no, they were. Were in this word is actually the short form of were. Was not. No, were not. Were not. It's shortened to weren't. Okay, let's try part two. Sentences talk about. Yeah, sentences talk about. Correct, the past. Yeah, because we have was and were. Well, you still remember uh, the B, the to be. We have three kinds of to be is, am, and are. Was is the past form of. Is and then were is the past form of are. What about what about am? I am. Yeah. So am. Yeah, the word I am. Am is actually the present form, and the past form is still was. Number two, the verbs was or wasn't and were or weren't are the past form of the verb. Yeah, to be. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, you can think about the answer. So you, got, you just need to use were or was. Oops. That's. <laughs> okay, so remember if the subjects are he, she, or it, you gotta use was. And then if the subjects are they, we, and you, they, we, you, you gotta use were. Subjects, they, we, you, and any other plural subjects, you gotta use were. For the subjects like he, she, or if, or any other singular subjects, you gotta use was. The one. Is it was or were? Yeah, I was. I was at the bus stop. Number two, they. Yeah, the subject is they, so we gotta use were. Number three, I. I was. You. You were. Okay, good job. Okay, so we have finished lesson one and lesson two. Okay, now let's move to lesson 3 and 4. So, uh, in this dialogue, uh, I hope that you have read the dialogue so you, you, you have understood the dialogue. Okay, so here we have these kids. Well, I actually always forgot I always forget the names of these characters at campers. Okay, this is Sue, um, then Adam, yeah, Jason, and the other one is, yeah, this is Patty. So, uh, in this dialogue, they, what are they l looking for here? Yeah, they are looking for their friend, yeah. It's Patty because she's missing. She's missing. And then she asked, Where was Patty last night? I don't know. She missed band practice. And scene two. What about last weekend, Sue? Last Saturday we played at her house. So last Saturday Patty was still at her house. So Sue met Patty at her house at the time, and then on Sunday, he practiced on Sunday, but she wasn't there. So here they are a little bit anxious. They are a little bit worried because yeah, uh, there is going to be a talent show. And then this is who is this? Adam said. We need to practice together more. Yes, I talk to the jugglers at the talent show. They practice every day. And then suddenly, Patty just 
in it. <laughs> well, Patty, I called you yesterday. Where were you? My grandparents visited me for a week, but I'm back now. That's practice. So what's the reason that Patty was missing? What's the reason? Yeah, the reason is Patty. Uh, Patty's grandparents visited her, you know, for a week. That's why she was absent for the band practice. Hey, that's the thing. Okay, so let's listen to the dialogue. Jason, Patty, Adam and Sue, the happy campers, coming to you. Where was Patty last night? I don't know. She missed band practice. What about last weekend, Sue? Last Saturday, we played at her house. We practiced on Sunday, but she wasn't there. We need to practice together more. Yes, I talked to the jugglers at the talent show. They practice every day. Patty, I called you yesterday. Where were you? My grandparents visited me for a week, but I'm back now. Let's practice. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. Woo yeah. Okay, since we are also talking about some past tense, so let's find some past tense verbs. Okay, of course we have was. And then missed. So this is called past tense verb. Regular past tense verb because we only add ed. Yeah. Miss and then plus ed. It's, it becomes missed. Okay, and then played, practiced. Guys, please underline the past tense verb. Yeah, and then talked. Jugglers at the talent show, they practice every day. And then called. And then visited. Okay, let's do the dictation. Listen and write. Unit 7. Lesson 3. Activity 3. Dictation. Listen and write. Then say. 1. Where was she last night? Two, they won the talent show last year. Three, I called you yesterday. Four, my grandparents visited me last month. Let's try again. Unit 7, Lesson 3, Activity 3, Dictation. Listen and write, then say... 1. Where was she last night? 1. Where was she last night? 2. They won the talent show last year. What's the sentence? They won the talent show last year. Three, I called you yesterday. With three, I called you yesterday. Four, my grandparents visited me last month. Grandparents visited me last month. Let's check this out. Yeah, it's all correct. Good job, everyone. Okay, please write all the sentences correctly based on the audio. Okay, let's move the grammar past complete the sentences based on the dialogue. Okay, so what what did she say in her dialogue in her part? Yeah, we played. 
What did Adam say on her on his dialogue? We wait, wait, if we play at her house, we oh yeah, we practiced, right? Number three, what did Jason say in his dialogue? Correct, I talked to the jugglers. Number four, my grandparents. What did Patty say in her dialogue? My grandparents. Well done, visited me. That's all correct. Okay, guys, uh, I'll just skip this one. Okay, so that's all for today's video about Happy Campers Unit 7, Lesson 1 until Lesson 4. And what have we learned today? Yeah, we have learned some words about public places around us and, and was and was and work. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll also explain about how to use was and were on the next video okay so i guess that's all for today's video in this video thank you very much for watching and listening i'll see you on the next video bye bye